So you want to get better at PvP. You want to be able to do damage quickly and effectively. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the only mouse you need for PvP in Star Wars The Old Republic, and quite honestly, any MMO. This video will be relevant for years to come because it's not like mechanics of MMOs are ever going to change. So this is basically going to be showing you the difference between clicking and then key binding your abilities to go with said mouse. So if this is something that interests you, something you like, guys, want me to do more of this kind of thing, don't forget guys, hit like on the video and then tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And then my question for the day is, do you use an MMO mouse currently to PvP or just play this game with in general. I want to hear about it in the comment section, so light that place up. But guys, I'm going to show you how to go from clicking into something more like this. All right, now without out of the way guys, I just wanna to talk to you real quick about the mouse that I currently use for PVP in Star Wars The Old Republic and just the entire game in general, and that is the Razer Naga Trinity specifically. Now, they used to just make like the Razer Naga with the 12 buttons on the thumb side, and that was something that I rocked for many years. I briefly switched to a uh, Corsair Scimitar, Scimitar Pro, and that did not last me very long. I always like how long the Razer mouse uh, you know last so this is the one that I recommend it's literally a plug-and-play easy to set up if you want to get like razor synapse and cortex just to add a couple more effects have a little bit more control over the mouse then I highly recommend downloading those Those are completely free but this will help you in so many ways because when I PvP I know a lot of people sometimes like the keyboard turn you need to unbind those abilities from your movement because the only thing you really should be using is your mouse, your right click and left click to move and adjust the camera. Because when you're able to move that fast, you have a huge edge on the opponent. But why this mouse is so important is because of the 12 buttons on the thumb side. I control my entire character with just using my thumb. And on my left side where I'm you know, using the keyboard, I am using shift for some of my keybinds. Now this is why this is so cool. You have one through 12 on your thumb, which means anything on your main quick bar you can get to on your thumb. You don't need to click different sides of the quick bar to get those abilities to attack and to go off. So that is why it's super important to have a mouse like this. And you can do so many more keybind combinations with this. For example, I think I use shift one through eight for secondary utility abilities. And then I can even use control with this as well. Because remember, since everything major is at the thumb, you can literally take any other keybind on your keyboard and combo it. So say you want your buff to be shift one. You literally just gotta hold down shift with your pinky while you're fighting and just click one with your thumb. I'm going to be showing you right now on screen, we're gonna head over to my uh, OBS setup and I'm gonna show you how that actually looks. All right, guys, so we are here on the Zaya Shadow. I am going to go to the Warzone training dummy, and I'm going to show you how powerful this mouse is with, you know, clicking versus, you know, non-clicking and having keys properly bound. So we'll use the Warzone training dummy for this. And guys, I'm just going to, I'm not going to try to do like the biggest and best rotation, but what I will do is show you 
how these main differences affect uh, your play and how much better it is to bind and use this mouse instead of clicking the abilities. So just for fun, let's do, you know, click through all of these in no real particular order. I'll try to keep it as, mo as similarly to a rotation as possible. And then I will do one where I'm fully using all my key bindings, doing all my movement and all that. Um, so sorry for if you're hearing the keys a lot in the background. This mic picks up everything. So. We'll go ahead and just start clicking. This is something that I think a lot of people are going to have to, you know, learn how to how to change if, if they start, you know, using a mouse like this because everything right here is at the thumb. Every single important thing you need is at your thumb. You don't need anything else really at all. So what I will do is start clicking and do something, you know, kind of random. I won't be adding any of these buffs or anything. I'll save that for later. I mean, I, I might as well because it'll kind of show you a little bit better how how you're going to be, you know, moving around if you're clicking and how much time that that wastes. Okay, so that is pretty much how that works if you're just clicking. Now, imagine clicking while you're just moving around with your keys. So if you're trying to, let's see, you know, like fight someone, this is how you're doing things. You're not, you're not really getting a lot of consistent damage in. You're kind of just clicking around and using your keyboard to turn making your life kind of more miserable because you have to be able to move with your keyboard uh, if, if you're not using, you know, the this kind of mouse on your thumb. See how not ideal that is? Um, I'm waiting for these to come off cooldown because before you guys, I, I cut this out, I literally instinctively started using my keybinds and not just straight clicking, so that's why these are on cooldown uh, right now. But while we're waiting for that, I just want to talk about this real quick. So. I will probably do a keybind video. Let me know if you guys want to do that. But most of my utility buttons, I have shift one through six because you're literally only going to be using the pinky finger from your left hand to mess with shift. You can use your thumb if you want, if that's more comfortable for you. But that's literally the only thing you're going to be using. You can literally hold down, as I said earlier in the video, you can hold down shift with your pinky or thumb and then just hit one, two, three, four, whatever your keybind is. So now, now that these are about off cooldown, I will show you how I do things with the mouse using full range of the keyboard. So I'll try to get move my mouse to a, a more advantageous spot for you to see what I'm doing here, and we will get right in. Totally forgot I didn't have Thundering Glass on the move anymore. <laughs> you're doing I'm doing so much more damage so much faster because I'm not using my you know like I'm not clicking to get anything off nothing is being clicked whatsoever it's all just the binds coming from my mouse and everything that I have set up you know through that I do have obviously some set to just straight key binds like or straight keys like f1 f2 things like that but literally everything that I'm doing now is just purely done by my thumb, nothing else whatsoever. And you can see just how much faster it is making, you know, your life easier. You're able to move around a lot better too. Like I literally can do all this movement 
and still hit my abilities, not even looking, I mean, obviously I have to be facing the target, but like, you don't really have to be looking at any particular distance or any particular target because you just know that your buttons are going to be doing all of the, the work for you by having that at your thumb. And it's something that a lot of people don't really see. I don't know if you saw me pop recklessness there. That was really fast, and you probably wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't pointed it out. Maybe some of you have, but just moving that fast is going to be the difference between winning most of your fights and losing them. It's, it's really underrated, and a lot of people, like, people get mad that they can't beat certain classes. You know, like, this kind of thing will give you that edge on some of those classes. Maybe you don't beat them all the time, but that is going to do something that helps you, you know, beat them more often than not. I rarely lose fights now, especially in regs, because I know the other teammate, or the other, the other enemy that I'm fighting, is not going to be hitting me nearly as hard. Maybe he's hitting me as hard, but he's not hitting me as fast, and I'm able to recover and do all sorts of things. And it's really easy to cancel abilities too. Like, if you don't want to do something, just walk away, and you're still, you're still able to, to, to dish out good damage. Like, this is the difference here, guys. That kind of movement is the difference. Um, same for, like, utilities and whatnot. So if I just want to heal or something, I'm literally just hitting one right now. My thumb is on shift. And let's say I want to pop recklessness real quick after this. Boom, recklessness is popped. I want to heal. That's done. Put my barrier on. That's also done. Like, you do things so fast with this. And it's all because all of this is right here at your thumb ready to go and that guys is going to wrap up the video for today let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you want to catch me live i stream over on twitch around three times a week usually monday wednesday and either a friday or a saturday so if you want to see me there you want to ask me questions you know in real time about your pvp setup what may be best optimal and if you want to see a keybind video i can also do that for you so again thank you guys so much for watching my name is noble i'll see you in the next one peace